the media always sends their top, um, um, you know, their marquee reporters go to and Leonardo stuff. DiCaprio. They're all fawning over him. Oh yeah, I mean, and anybody who's anybody over there, uh, you know, Justin Trudeau is he's he's over there because he's recently been elected prime minister of Canada. This fascist in uh, Argentina, Mauricio Macri, who's now uh, like uh, the generals during the dirty war of the 1970s is, is starting to put his political opponents in jail. You know, uh, Obama never congratulated uh, many Latin American leaders because a lot of them don't like Obama, or, uh, but uh, he sure couldn't wait to congratulate Macri the minute he was elected president of Argentina, a very close race back in November. Uh, so Obama, who used to um, basically monitor uh, Latin American uh, business activities for the CIA with his job at Business International Corporation. You know, you don't you don't get these uh, leopards to change their spots. Uh, he's still Obama still likes to be dealing with these oligarchs. And Stay there. I want to come right back and actually get into the articles. Global is covering up jihad violence. We're on the Ryan, Anthony, Kevin, Steve. We're going to take a few of your calls coming up. And Leanne McAdoo joins us from Flint, Michigan. And she says it is the most decrepit, broke down place she's ever seen. Yeah, I've been up to Michigan. In the midst of that beautiful state, you then go into areas like Flint, and it looks like post-apocalyptic World War II in Germany or something. There's a lot of beautiful architecture and stuff, and it's just rotting, and the people are black, white, I don't care, shuffling around like zombies. Uh, just amazing. We're going to be talking to her as well. I want to get into the Islamic invasion. Everybody knows Wayne Madsen has never bashed Muslims, was against all the wars over there, Me Too. You know, we got, you know, called, you know, you're aiding the radical Muslims because you don't want to blow up Iraq. No, we don't want to destabilize the whole region, which has now happened. Part of the clash of civilizations, which they're now going to enfold into Europe, the U.S., and take our freedoms as a response to the attacks. And we told you that 15 years ago, 16 years ago from the PNAC document. They told us what they do. So much of our job isn't hard. It's believing the globalists at their word. There's a plan, but they are insane. It's like Hitler's Barbarossa going into Russia. He's got a plan. He, he, he can get up at 5 a.m. in the morning. He can give orders all day, but he's crazy. In history, we just get these crazy people in charge. We take it as confidence. We take their orders, and then we wake up in hell. Before we go any further, though, folks supporting the broadcast make it possible so that next year, I was just thinking of this, I want to send Wayne Madsen to cover Davos. I'm not going to pay the 23000 to get a ticket in. Because you can cover that off C-SPAN or whatever. But, the, you know, the stuff around it, what's happening on the periphery, you know, the, the whole deal. Uh, we, we've sent folks to Bilderberg. I'm going to send him next to Bilderberg a, as well. I, I go a lot as well. But it takes funding. So we sell super high-quality products that are game changers because we want you to enjoy them and get a, a good uh, response and then buy more. It's a win-win. We have X2 nation iodine. Truly original, truly proprietary, the good halogen, what it's done for my body and many others is just incredible. Read the reviews, InfoWarsLife.com. It's 15% off this week only, as well as super male vitality and super female vitality. You can get them together or separate, 15% off. Super female vitality was sold out for two months. It's back. Uh, the new super male that came in is the strongest batch ever. It really tastes bad compared to the last batch. It's like wine. Concentrated herbs known to get your glands operating properly, according to Dr. Grip's research. That is back as well at InfoWarsLife.com. We have a new shower filter in that's excellent, four-stage, very fast-flowing, cuts out all the garbage. Uh, you can get uh, free shipping on that as well, the ProMax uh, ProPure system. Without your funding, we can't do this, so I want to thank you for your support. But regardless, you need to try the X2, you need to try the Super Mel Vitality. I mean, those are products I know that you get very quick results with in my experience. And then the others are great as well, but those will blow you away. Speaking of blowing you away, the Oxy Powder, to, I mean, dude lost 13 pounds in one week and he wasn't fat of just detritus in his intestines. It's oxygen, high level, so it breaks down over time and just flushes you out. All these products are game changing. And other great products are at InfoWarsHealth.com. That's the website where if you purchase the full line, and by full line, the whole line's there. You can buy one item that supports us. The whole line of Longevity products with the best sales and best prices, free shipping with auto shipping. Sign up, pay 10 bucks, be a distributor, uh, and then you can get 
uh, all sorts of specials, 30% off on your first order, uh, things like free shipping. When you sign up for auto ship, visit InfoWarsHealth.com and get Tangy Tangerine 2.0, totally organic, by longevity for the lowest price available. Beyond Tangy Tangerine 2.0 is the most advanced multivitamin mineral complex to date that provides you the highest quality essential nutrients that your body needs for optimal health. Also, make sure to check out Pollen Burst Plus Berry at InfoWarsHealth.com, the world's first energy drink powered by flower pollen that contains a blend of powerful antioxidants and other key nutrients. And I, it helps me with my allergies. It's got a lot of different effects. InfoWarsHealth.com, and there is a toll-free number there to ask questions or to order or to get signed up or a customer service number as well. 888-789-9277, 888-789-9277. Okay, I want to get to some calls. Leanne's coming up the last 15 minutes uh, as well. Madsen will ride shotgun with us. Wayne, obviously these are historic times we're now in. People are really paying attention now. But, but looking at the radical Islamist invasion, this is really getting people to pay attention. Let's get into your articles here. Report, globalists cover up jihadist violence. European deals to cover it up, and then how that ties into ISIS-linked groups being protected by Obama in America, unprecedented. Well, since the report about uh, the cover-up in Europe, uh, we have yet a later report uh, out of Sweden that the Swedish police have been ordered to classify, as, as if it's national security information, all incidents involving migrants in Sweden, and that, that would be sexual assaults against women and any other uh, petty crime. So uh, this is a pattern. Uh, we saw it in Germany first with the cover-up of the uh, New Year's Eve uh, rapes uh, in uh, Cologne, and then there were additional reports that these similar incidents took place around Germany, Austria, Switzerland. Uh, and, uh, and we had Merkel who invited all these migrants in, of course, with the with the um, uh, encouragement of people like Soros, who said Europe can actually stand, you know, to have a few more million of these migrants. Um, and, um, and and couple that with the fact that we also had similar incidents with cover up uh, here. Uh, when the guy shot the Philly cop, uh, the, 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 Muslim, uh, the Muslim born in the United States, Archer, uh, the new mayor of Philadelphia, Kenny, he says, Oh, no, uh, he's not tied up uh, with any Islamic uh, group. And then we find out that it, this guy had visited Saudi Arabia. He had been in Egypt. And, and the, even the Philadelphia police commissioner said he swore allegiance to the Islamic State. Uh, and, and we had the mayor, just like that mayor, that female mayor, Wrecker, in Cologne. She was covering up over there. It looks like mayors everywhere are reading from the same choir sheet. Uh, there was a, a Muslim attack on a nightclub in Calgary in Canada. Same situation. The local police covered it up. The Calgary authorities covered it up. So what's going on here? Uh, are we San Bernardino, that, they uh, covered it up. And, and just to interrupt yeah. briefly, if you look at this, it's clear. The goals, and I want you to add to this because you always do, uh, have uh, points I don't bring up and angles I didn't think of. But bring them in, create a new political group you control. You can have them riot or burn things down like Paris or London whenever you want as a distraction. Uh, you can then ban speech that upsets them. Uh, you can declare civil emergencies, as France and Germany and others have done, to restrict free speech. You can beta test getting the police to cover up crimes under political correctness and corrupting them. Uh, and then on so many fronts, when people are finally sick of the radical Islamic invasion, you can point it at innocent Muslim countries that actually aren't part of it, like Iraq, a.k.a. after 9-11, and Saudi Arabia. Right, and and just, and just now we, we find out that Facebook has agreed uh, with the German government to censor all anti-migrant uh, comments on Facebook. So, uh, you know, that's going to happen here, too, eventually, uh, because, uh, uh, again, I think Trump hit... Trump, the, big, the biggest issue is a sleeper issue, I believe, and that's Trump's uh, opinion on political correctness. I mean, it has gotten way out of hand with the names of things and statues. People don't like them. And, uh, and, and you can, I mean, even, even stand-up comics are complaining today because they're going to uh, infuriate somebody. They're going to make somebody upset with their, with their uh, comedy routines and even Hillary 
uh, c- complained about one comedy club s- somewhere. Absolutely. So, uh, yeah. There is a attack on this across the board. I want to go to some phone calls on this subject and talk about the ISIS group in America as well. But first, or ISIS connected groups, let's go to Iran's foreign minister, Javad Zafir, uh, tells Christina Amanpour of CNN that while Saudi Arabia is panicking, the two countries can coexist in the region. And he points out Saudi Arabia supposedly attacked you on 9-11, not us. So, so again, they're continuing to point out Saudi Arabia is backing ISIS. All of this, uh, th- this is really some truth from Iran. Here it is. Well, it was uns- unsubstantiated charges. 15 of the 19 people who blew up 9-11 were Saudi citizens. People who murdered uh, others in San Bernardino were Sa- just, had, just, had just visited Saudi Arabia. But I'm, I'm tired of the, uh, this. But should I Saudi believe- Arabia be panicking that Iran is back in the, in I, I the think community they, of they, nations? I think we, we were always in the community of nations. Now they're allies have recognized that Iran is a serious partner. Up until then, uh, it was the Saudi allies, particularly the United States, who was at loggerheads with, with Iran. Now, uh, it hasn't changed, but the Saudis are panicking that there may be a slight opportunity that tensions between uh, Iran and the West would, would reduce. And that smokescreen that had allowed them to export this Wahhabi ideology of extremism to, if that smokescreen disappears, then people see, we'll call a spade a spade. Folks, you notice, that's Unfortunately, good. All of we, this is our talking point. I'm not bragging about InfoWars and our guests, but we put Wahhabists on the map. We expose Benghazi with our guests, Colonel Schaefer, countless others like Wayne Madsen. And now it's like Donald Trump, I know listens, is saying stuff he gets from the show. I mean, this, this, and of course, MSNBC admits the Republican leadership's getting talking points now from InfoWars and trying to, and passing bills from the show on, on bullet purchasing. It, it, it's got to really upset the system now that people know the West is backing and, and Saudi Arabia uh, is backing uh, ISIS, Wayne Madsen. Yeah, I just point one thing out about Amanpour. They sent her in there. She has a chip on her shoulder with Iran anyway because she's an Iranian Christian. Her family left Iran. So, I mean, so they send her in there with a chip on her shoulder. She wants some kind of argument. You looked at her face. I mean, uh, to, to, to paraphrase Donald Trump, look at the face. I mean, she looks like she just took a whiff of Limburger cheese when she was interviewing that Iranian foreign minister. Or smelled her upper lip. She helped sell the whole <laughs> Serb genocide and made all that up. I mean, she's a real operative. You can tell, like Blitzer and... All the rest of those people. Oh, are. absolutely. Yeah, that, that that was that was a set up interview. They could have sent anyone in there other than Amanpour to interview absolutely. the foreign minister, but they chose not to. They wanted uh, that to be a, contra- a con- confrontational interview. That's and right. We're, we're going to get was. some calls now, then go to Leanne and come back to calls uh, into the next hour a little bit. And, and I've got my info here on who's hosting uh, the fourth hour today. We'll be getting to that in the next segment. Uh, but before I go any further, let's go to Anthony in Nevada. Uh, he's got an interesting point to raise. Go ahead. You're on the air with Alex Jones and Wayne Madsen. Yeah. Hi, Alex and Wayne. Uh, I, I, I noticed today on Facebook, and I confirmed it with the Office of the Governor's uh, uh, account, um, that Greg Abbott is actually in Davos right now. And with all the evil going on at Davos, um, and Abbott being one of our uh, you know, favorite sons, Uh, in the liberty movement what do you think he's doing there well yeah this is a question i get a lot okay if 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 i was invited to davos i would go the the davos is a public bilderberg meeting where they push their globalist agenda but upwards of 10 20 30 percent of people there are good folks uh texas is a boom town when the rest of the you know country's falling apart now with the oil situation and the fracking and things going bankrupt that's not going to go too much longer he's there literally he goes on trade missions every couple months trying to get jobs here that's his main focus is low taxes, jobs. So uh, I expect to hear him come back and criticize their agenda, talk about it, try to stand up for Texas and America while he's there. He's pushing a con con to try to, you know, stop what's going on in, 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 in Congress. I mean, I, I, I know he's good by his actions. He can meet with the devil. And that's fine with me as long as he doesn't change his actions. I mean, I've gone and met with globalists before. I've gone and met with high-powered people in private, and it's a private meeting. I don't talk about it. doesn't mean I ever accepted their offers. Wayne Madsen, do you agree with me or disagree? Well, I mean, I think that this is a, one of these forums where everybody has to meet some sort of uh, – they're vetted somehow. So you're not, you're not going to get somebody, I don't think, there who's going to then go out and say, 
Oh, they, they want to discuss things.